Hey, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fold an armadillo sucus. The paper I used was 15 by 15 centimeters, and this is the size of the finished result. Let's do it. We're going to start by folding corner to corner diagonal. And do the same thing on the other side. Make sure there's a good crease. And then fold. Now you're going to fold corner to corner long ways. Fold and do the same thing on the side, on the other side. Woo. And now unfold. Now you're going to fold along this line that you've just creased. Make sure this lines up with here and the corner doesn't like. Make sure you don't fold the corner and it folds like that, essentially. Now do the same thing on the other side. And unfold. Now you're gonna take this little section you folded, you've just folded, and you're going to do the same thing, except now it'll be a little bit thinner. Do the same thing. Now you're going to take this little section you just folded, you're going to fold it like that. The model won't lie flat, this piece will stick up, so you grab it, pull it as far as it'll go to one side, well not as far, you kind of want to gently tug it, and then you fold it down on the other side, and you open it up and you align the middle of this with the middle diagonal and you flatten it down. Yeah. Now you take this flap and you fold it towards the center and this is what's going to become the head. And open it. And as you fold along the creases you just made, you're going to realize that like there's a white spot in the middle. So you pull up on the point, squash it down, and you kind of have a little diamond. Now fold it back and fold the point up to this point. Ooh. And fold this flap over. You're going to take this and fold it towards the center. Yeah. Now you're going to fold this.
this back over to this side and do the same thing on the other side. Oh. Now you're going to take this like right along this corner right here and just fold it towards the center. And then fold and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to kind of move this over. Now you're going to have to fold these in on themselves. So fold in, out, and in, and flatten. And do the same thing on the other side. So pull it out, in, out, and in. and fold this down towards the center about to where it meets this section now you're going to open it up and find where that crease ends it's right here for me you're going to fold it up to the point Same thing on the other side. Fold this towards the center. Open it up. And fold it towards the point. And fold it back down. I'm going to take both of these and fold them forward. And then you're going to take one of the flaps and pull it so that this, like the middle, is aligned with here. And then flatten. Same thing on the other side. When you're done, like make sure that these two folds align. Woo. Now you're gonna fold the guy in half even this part too. Make sure you fold it so that the legs line up. Yeah! This is going to become the back legs and the tail. Fold it in. And bring it back out. 
Yeah. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open it up. This is a little, what you want to have is like, kind of have both of these be parallel, but this side is just a little bit like bigger than this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to make the tail thinner by bringing it down, like imagine this line, it went up after that. That's where you fold it to, fold it to the crease right there. And do the same thing on the other side. And then, yeah, go and fold. fold this in and you'll notice that this flap will kind of appear. You're going to fold it so that it'll be aligned with this. And it's a little tricky. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then close the model. We're starting to take shape a bit. To finish up the back legs, we're going to fold this part in. Like this. We're going to fold this in. This part is optional. I like to make their tails curled because it makes them look a little happy and kind of lively. And the front legs are a lot longer than the back legs, so to fix that, you're going to pull them in and then squish them a bit. Do the same thing to the other leg. In and to squeeze. Make sure they're even. He can't stand up yet because his, his head is too far. Away. So in order to make his head, you're going to find this diagonal right here where you first folded and you're going to fold his head down there, kind of eyeball where you want his head to start. I like my head to start like right there. And then you're going to fold it down. But you need to bring his head down to where the rest of his body is and then you can fold. And now to finish him up, you just make his neck you find that flap you made earlier for his mouth and you kind of squish it like that. You put it to where you think it's right, like right there. Now you're just gonna round his back a little. There we go. And now just use the edge of your fingernail to go along his spine and just make it a bit more round. And your little guy is done. I like to make whole families of them. I've made quite a lot of these. Yeah!